Hi, my name is Xavier, um, United States Marine Corps. I served in 82 to 86, 88 to 91 during the Gulf War, and 2000 to 2006 OEF, OIF. As far as my father is concerned, he was an alcoholic. Um, we used to fight with my mom all the time. And uh, when I left, I got out of high school early uh, to just get away from that. So I tried to join the Marine Corps and um, I uh, was accepted. And uh, when I went in, I went in with no idea of what I was going to get into. And boy, the, that rocked my world. And being yelled at and trying to do what you're being taught to do and breaking you down from being an individual to becoming one mind as a unit because I didn't realize what they're trying to prepare you for and what ideally your job is as a Marine is to kill. I did get in trouble the first time for, uh, you know, uh, smoking marijuana, but uh, fortunately I had the opportunity to take this amnesty program that the colonel in my unit had offered to people that were saying, hey, before we catch you and you ruin your career, you know, you've got this one out and we'll let it go. So I took it. I'd say it was probably about um, 1994 when I'd already escalated um, my drug use to uh, hard illicit drugs where um, I was addicted badly and I was uh, getting to my bottom. Um, I started using heroin because uh, uh, by that time I got back from the Gulf and um, I just uh, couldn't get the images out of my head. I was isolated away from my family, my friends. Um, my work history wasn't really good. Uh, I was in and out of jobs, getting fired, uh, blaming everybody else but myself and looking at what I was doing. Um, you know, I was wandering aimlessly and looking back on it, hindsight 2020, I was really trying to kill myself. I wanted to overdose. I hit rock bottom probably, I'd say about 1997. Um, uh, I was out of the military um, completely. And uh, so I went to a civilian entity that helped me out directly thereafter because I really wanted the help. Augmenting and supplementing that with outpatient therapy through the VA, I was able to overcome that demon. I would see a therapist once a week. Um, I would talk about uh, my issues. I realized that um, unless I shed light on it, it's always going to be this evil monster. And uh, I took the ID uh, and the concept. It's like, okay, look, I faced my enemy with my fear. I overcame my enemy, did my job. Now my enemy is myself, and I face my fear, and I, I've shed light on it, and I'm conquering it. I have to deal with that as best I can by going to the VA, going to the VFW, going to the groups, getting my therapy every week, you know, every month, whatever, how long, whatever the maintenance is, until I overcome it, and I love it, because these people have become my family. They become not only my friends, they're my family. You know, they're a vested interest in keeping me alive and beating this disease.